Hello again. Welcome to The Ref Show. We've got a lot to round up because apart from the Premier League, there were some really big matches across uh, the EFL over the weekend. Ian Dowie and Keith Hackett. Uh, we've got blurred vision trying to keep track of everything that's uh, been going on. Usually Ian used to get blurred vision from uh, aerial duels, didn't you? And uh, clashes of... Times. I can't remember your name now. <laughs> yeah, clashes of... Neither can, <laughs> neither can I remember yours, Fred, either. And it's been a while, Keith. It uh, Good to see you back. Actually, I just... Before we go into the bigger talking points at the Liverpool Southampton game, I have the impression that referees did pretty well generally over the over the weekend. What was your take on it? I, I, I think much the same. Uh, Andre Mariner was given the... Uh, Appointment of the big game, really, at Arsenal Manchester United. And uh, it wasn't the Arsenal Manchester United that we've known in the past. No. I mean, I can remember at, An at uh, Old Trafford having to <laughs> sort of part <laughs> the, 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 the players and uh, eventually got deducted a point each because it was absolutely mass confrontation. Everybody lost it. Yeah. I just stood there including, trying to sort including it. Including you. <laughs> well, I nearly lost it because uh, it was a difficult situation. But in fairness, um, Andre Mariner has finished the season really well, mm. quietly, behind the scenes, uh, getting on with the game, using his maturity and uh, experience to good effect. Good to see that. These games don't quite have the passion of the uh, old days and the fire and brimstone, Ian, do they? Why is that, do you think? Well, I'd have to be fair, if I'm honest, he nodded off in the first half of that. I mean, it was, it was just not like... Mm. I mean, it's the sort of game of fifth and sixth, yeah. I mean, how that's become two massive sides... Huge re result for Arsenal either way, but they're right. That that passion, that tackle, I expected a bit more fiery yeah. in the end. Now, mm. it took a deflected goal, but I did think the ref what I love about the referee, he, I just, he didn't need to worry about him. He, no. I thought he handled mm. anything that went on, he, he dealt with. I thought he was very, very, very switched on about it all. And the manner, of the, the manner in which they won the game, mm. Danny Welbeck, it was almost written, wasn't it? Incredible. Mm. The flyer seems to be more off the field these days. We've got yeah. the touchline uh, characters. So we go on to Liverpool nil, Southampton nil, which is Bobby Madley's game. And Jurgen Klopp, we love him, don't we? Do, do, do we love him? Yeah, we love him. Yeah, I love yeah. him. Great he's, passion. He's, he has got folk and very, very eloquent as well. So even with his passion, he has a, he has a barb. You've seen that. He, he knows. Yeah. He protects his club and his players very well. Um, and he loves a chat with a fourth official, <laughs> <laughs> or more than a chat. So. Well, I think I think there's the, there lies the problem. Okay. Um, you know, the games are beamed around the world. There, there has there is a responsibility in that technical area. Now, mm. give and take. That's what I always say to the fourth officials. Allow quite a bit. I just think at times that it's a bit OTT, and I think the pressure is he put on Anthony Taylor yesterday was a bit over the top. Did you? For what you, was happening on the field. You felt some action should have, should have taken place on several things, didn't you? Right? There, there was a penalty, which James Milner missed. The penalty award. Um, you know, well, I, th I thought, frankly, for a, a referee now that's gaining experience uh, and quite a good decision maker, he just didn't use the authority that he required. I mean, Southampton used all the tactics possible to put pressure on the kicker. Mm. And, and as a referee, you've got to recognise that. So you've got the goalkeeper uh, standing on the penalty mark. Fraser Forster. Fraser yeah. Forster. Mm. And he should have been shifted straight away. Oh. Now that should have been verbal initially. He doesn't respond, bang the yellow card right up his nose to get the, to get the effect. Mm. But then there's another guy round the back that Bobby did see, decide that he's going to have a, a drink of water. Um, <laughs> now he can take water whenever he likes, but the tactics were there yeah. and they, they had the effect. Now, I've, I've got to be honest, if I'd have been the referee, I know what I was going to do. Yeah. Right? There's a retake. The goalkeeper's moved. Okay. Well, that never gets given these days. No, happens but a lot. no, I'd just find that, Alan. I'd find something to have that penalty kick retake. I see, I've got you. Because got you. I'm, I, I think it was all the tactics that we don't like in the game of mm. football. Is that honest, to find something that didn't take place to get the kick retake? I think it's a referee using his common sense. And I'll tell you now, what? I don't know a penalty kick that's taken that isn't that actually oh. is within the law. And, and there's no encroachment. That never absolutely. Happens, I mean, what he's, yeah. it, Fraser Force is outrageous with what he does. I mean, you know what I love, and the quality of the man is Milner. Afterwards, he doesn't even blink at it. He doesn't even try and respond to it. He knows he's been he's missed a penalty. Mm. He said, "I had the opportunity. I missed it. Took it on the chin." But I mean, stamping on the penalty spot, all that going on. I mean, it's blatant. Mm. Not I. I don't like to see yellow cards be given. You can't give no. me a yellow card for that. And no. I know, fair what Keith said. It's right in Wale. 
way. Yeah. They have that much delay in tactics, he deserves another go at it. Yeah, mm. OK, that's an mm. interesting uh, viewpoint. Um, Jurgen Klopp hurling his water bottle to the ground, etc., etc. That's part of the theatre from most of us, perhaps, well, but no, we, from the I, official's I, point of well, view. Well, I don't think it is. I think that what, what we've got is fine. The verbal bit hurts no one. Yeah. The physical bit is the problem. And the inconsistency of it all. You know, I, I queried whether uh, Wenger should have been sort of sent to the stands when he kicked the bottle out of frustration. So we just need a degree of consistency. Mm. Are we going to take action on that? If I'm Arsene Wenger and I'm watching that, I'm, I, I've got, I've got a, a, a yeah. point to moan about because he's thrown the bottle to the ground and it's bounced up and I kick the, the water bottle. What's the difference? Yeah. We're all getting rid of frustration yeah. and we recognise frustration. Therefore, we either consistently do it across the board and say, right, let's allow the frustration because, you know, being a manager, I've not been there. I've been a manager of the referees and, and I've sat in the stand and I've wanted to go down and change the referee at half time with some of the yeah. performances I witnessed. The problem is, Keith, you've you've already been sent to the stand, haven't you, in your job as well? Yeah, to get to the stand. <laughs> that, that was usually you. Wasn't <laughs> yeah. But what I do think is, it's a little bit what you said. It's, it's Jurgen Klopp, and everyone loves Jurgen Klopp. Mm. Effectively, I think if that's a Mourinho doing that bottle throw, or someone a bit more combustible, or a Neil Warnock, let me say, they'd, they'd get a, or me when I was on, when I when I was combustible before. I, sing sense and not talk to four officials all the time <laughs> it, it would have got, it would have brought a yellow card so yeah. my view is I think what Keith saying is right if you do it across the board fine you can't chuck a, a water bottle down no and, and it, 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 can, it can do anything if, that, it, if it flips and bounces into the stand it's mm. a spectator you're obliged mm. to mm. yeah do you think a lack of consistency anyway in the way these guys I are think, I think treated you look think? he's an intelligent guy that, that there's no doubt he's very articulate when he speaks and therefore I think he just needs to hold back a little if he wants to vent his fury out of the fourth official, fine. But then there's a point of what is acceptable, what's not acceptable. OK. One or two more ga games to get through. We're going to have to fly through some of them. Michael Oliver, Manchester City 5, Crystal Palace nil. Uh, that was ref cam that game, and he got a big tick. Held, held his hands up for taking away what was a fantastic goal-scoring opportunity. He, he, he blew early. Right. Um, and... You know, it, it bounced back on him. But in fairness to Michael, he held his hands up publicly and said to everybody, I came in too early. Mm. And I, I thought that was pretty good of him. I think he's just about the best of his. Yeah. Mm. And on Friday was the West Ham 1 Spurs 0. Anthony it. Taylor, Anthony Taylor, the FA Cup final referee, was in mm. charge of that well, one. I'm happy. West Ham 1 1 0, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I missed that. <laughs> I was just going through that. I missed that. We've got a couple here, and we always, I always uphold referees who've got what I call a clean sheet, which is absolutely no yellow cards at all. It's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean they've had a good game, but I'll throw that one at you, Keith. Then Martin Atkinson, Swansea 1, uh, Everton 0. Calmest man out there today said Glenn Turner in his ref cam blog clearly set out to get through without a caution. What a season he's had. Mm. I mean, compared to last, when we were hammering him almost week in, week out for some yeah. pretty awful performances, awful decisions. I think this year, he's just found his feet. Uh, as, I know that's amazing for the length of time he's been on. He's mm. been pretty consistent. Had the big games. Mm. Uh, Atletico Madrid, Madrid. Big, big game. Came out of that really smelling of roses. Yeah. I think he's now sh saying, right, I can actually manage some of these players. And I think this is what referees are failing to do. I think we just, you know, we see almost the first yeah. half go without any yellow cards and then all of a sudden one's issued and they come like buses. Mm -hmm. But it, instead of being in twos, they're threes, fours and fives. So I think that we're devaluing the yellow card because we're not man-managing effectively in certain situations. Okay. He is. The handball, isn't that or not? Mm -hmm. Handball? Senegal? Or not? Um, oh, wait, I mean, uh, this was, you know. So Laurenti's yeah. goal. Yeah, I think I'm not. You that think he, it's handball? Not that he can give it, by the way, because he can't. It's, well, I think it's here. Yeah, it's coming off the top of his. No, shoulder. I don't think it comes off his bottom of his shoulder here. That's an interesting mm. point. I've not heard that raised elsewhere. No, I mean, uh, maybe you can, listen. I'm not sure he could give it anyway. From the view he had, he couldn't see it. it looked like a header, but in in terms of the general picture, there, I mean, you see the keeper go. Like, he thought he mm. handballed it. Mm. Well, I mean, I mean, effectively, we know that. Uh, the hand is, is in, includes the arm up to the joint in the shirt sleeve. Yeah. So I, I, when I first saw it, I thought that's handball. Mm. And then you saw it again? I saw it again and still thought you it was You still handball. thought it was handball. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay, so that's a 
slight blot against um, possible one against Martin Atkinson, but we're splitting hairs really because he's a fine referee. And one referee unaccustomed to such praise, Roger East. Now he came through Leicester three, Watford nil, also with no cautions. I thought it was an easy game what I saw. Oh. And yeah, you but know he's not my favourite referee. Uh, at times he's all over the place. I, I think that what players demand in the game is a level of consistency within the game and, and game to game. And yeah. I think sometimes he just, he looks to me as though, he, you know, he's, he's a bull in a china shop. He's right. just all over the place. Well, he broke no crockery in that game whatsoever. So uh, What a change. So, <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's part one of the ref show completed. Lots more, including the big uh, end of season games in the EFL. Join us for that.